Hello everyone, and today we're gonna be playing Road Chanix. This is a new thing, but like, I decided to make a tutorial on it since not many people know about it and not know how to play it. So, I'm gonna. This is gonna be a tutorial. So, what you have to do is first, you should probably grab a gun in, in case the zombies are out of control robots. Then, what you want to go and do is go over ahead and into the driver's room. I don't know what a healing driver does yet, but all I know how to do is the weapon driver generator. What you do is you click on this little thing and it generates a weapon driver. And after that, see this thing called I need coffee. What you have to do is go to the study room and go over here, grab your, um, click one of the buttons. Quickly grab out your cup of the uh, like make sure it's under the coffee machine. And then drink it. You actually need to do this so that you're not like really slow and everything. Then so this is like the coffee room. Then what you're gonna do is go over here and this is the this is the room where you have to do everything. So first when it says low energy, you have to go into the energy room. So the energy is at 46%. It goes down pretty fast. And to um, get more energy, to charge it, you gotta run on the treadmill until it reaches 100. And the way I like doing it is running sideways, but it might not be the same thing way for you guys. But um. We went until it's 100 and boom, it's high energy. It will now say a high energy. There you go. Now, what are you gonna do? So, I give you basically a short, like almost a whole entire tour. This will teach you of how the robots are built. And you don't really need to know that, but you know. And then, here is the room where everything is, where you do all the, you know. Uh, testing and stuff. Just in case, if you want your room to look clean, you can grab a sponge. This is uh, just this. You basically need it. Um, how do I explain it? It's like you have to make sure that um the this the system, the this place, is like up and running and like not going to explode. That only happened to me once. So this is all the rooms where you test and stuff. That's a robot. And someone probably was testing in my room, even though it's locked. So, uh, I am going to release it. And this will unlock this door so other people can come in. The chamber control is this door so no one can get in this room. And then kick outsiders. He's like, if they're in here, you can just click this button and they'll all go out. And this one shows you the robot. I don't know what this does. It just shows you the structure of the robot, I guess. This is the energy of the robot. This is the name of the robot. This is the lights on and off, which I guess saves power. And this is like, I guess, a power box, maybe. Whatever that means. Release spot. It opens that hatch and it pulls it out like I showed you, and it like cleans the whole entire room in a way. Because if there's y'all you know, see all that purple stuff in the robot, it pulls it all out and then it just like space. And then there's this hold a bot button, which only works when there's a bot in the room. So and it like holds the bot in place so it doesn't like kill you or anything. Roger, now Roger. here's the cool part. Create Roger, Roger. Create, create bot. As you, bot. As you can see, the thing actually shows and it says the energy and mad bot. I don't really get that point of the energy. All right. Now you take this thing out, which the weapon generate, the weapon driver generator put a flash drive into it, which um got a weapon weapons in. Now what you have to do is it injects. So you inject it into the robot, and Roger, Roger. three transformation, three, three transformations happen, happens. 
It's like if I inject into the robot like that, you can tell because um, the light is gone and it's not green anymore or whatever. Which that, with it, you can tell when it makes a beeping noise. But um, from what I understand, there is three transformations that happens, and all of them have like different things, like spikes. Yeah, that's one of the things. It can go transparent or translucent or whatever. And so that's the first transformation, I think. And those eyes might be the second. I'm not sure. Or the first. I don't actually know because I couldn't see them. But. Um, so that's one transformation, two, maybe. And then we gotta wait for the second, th third one. And the third one is wings. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> so, they can kill you. And just in case you can, you might want to hold them. Like that. So they don't, like, get away. But this one doesn't look hostile or anything. I don't think it has another transformation. So, yeah, I can go in here and let me just touch it just in case. Okay, cool. It's probably done. Now, this is. It's in. It ejects oil from the robot. What is this guy doing? Alright, hold, hold on for a second. Alright, what? Dude, what is this guy doing? If he says let me in, I swear to god. Okay, I'll, I just want to see what this dude does. Nah, I'm good. Bye bye. He doesn't even know what that means. I go away. He thinks he knows what he's doing, but I don't think he realizes. He just said he's he got the green. He got he got the green, which obviously that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't really matter the color. So this ejects oil from the robot. And you just uh, and then you can tell you got oil from it because it took damage, and you got and there's like oil and stuff. So once you're done with that, you're all good now. You got the oil, and I will show you what to do later. So uh, bye bye. So that's how the release bot thing works. It just pulls it out of the room. Now, what you need to do is go over here to the center the study room where the coffee is I might want to refill that there we go alright uh, low energy that's actually bad no energy okay uh, I'm just gonna recharge this um so Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was trying to let him. Okay, so after this, I will show you how the three machines in there work, and the lockers. So, what you have to do is, uh, uh copy. Alright, so when this reaches 100, I will teach you how to work the three machines in there. Okay, I think that's good enough. Alright. So the first thing you want to do is remember the oil that you got from the thing. Well, what you have to do is go to the da data extractor, and then click on that, and then it puts the oil from here into there. And then it on the screen it would say starting process and like checking oil. And then it's working right now. And what it does is it spits out. Uh. It ejects a driver like that and this is the driver that you got originally it might be a different color the colors are just random but you know okay now what you have to do is the flash you get that you got from the data extractor is you put it into the driver separator and then it checks it 
this process takes a while. And then, so it uploads all the drivers. So, remember the three transformations? What you have to do is, like, whichever one you think is the coolest, like the scary looking eyes, or the translucency, or, um, the wings, whichever one you want, you can, uh, just pick. So, it will e eject the drivers. So, you take them, go to your locker, put them in there, and take the second one, go to your locker, put it in there, and then, take the third one, and then put it into your locker. There we go. And, so, let's just say, I won the wings from the robot. So what you're gonna do is you have no idea which one which one is the wings. Like all these drivers, these three drivers represent the transformations that happen, and you don't know which one is which. So this, so um, what you have to do is take a random one, like the first one you put in there or something, put it into the driver duplicator. And then it will start a process of duplication and so you have to wait this this one actually right here takes a while so all right it's done now so it keeps just dinged if you heard that all right now let's say that it will eject the first copy and what you want to do is you take that copy which is right there actually put it back in your locker and then it will spit it the same one out and then you take that one and then go back to your room and you make another robot which you're going to do Roger, roger. And so you remember when I when I wanted the wings, right? So one of those three drivers is the driver. I mean the wings transformation. So you have to whichever one this is, it will happen to it. And let's see what happens. Alright. So this one is Let's see. Uh, it takes a while sometimes. So, see, you can never tell if it if this like. Okay, this one is not the one I wanted, and it is the translucity driver. So you'll be like, okay, I don't want this. And when you separate the drivers, it only have one transformation because there's three drivers, so it like splits it. So I don't want the translucency. So I would take the oil from the take the oil from the Actually Do I really need the oil? Okay, no, you don't need the oil. I changed my mind. Alright. So I don't want that robot. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. So I don't want this oil, so I am going to go here. And this guy is already making something. Okay. So we know that this one, which is the one that we just did, is the translucency. So we don't want that. So we can uh, put it right there. There we go. So now anyone can go up to here and take it because they might want translucency. Now I will put the oil in here, which you don't. You don't really need to do this. I just did this by accident. So anybody could actually just take that if they want to. So now take this one. So this one might be the wings or the spooky eyes. And you never know. I might put actually no, someone would probably just go up to here and just take it. Alright. Cause I don't want that one. That that one's the translucency because that was the last one. Okay. Now I will go up to here. 
make a Rock new robot. robot. New robot. Then go up to him. Eject. Eject the thing into it. And then none of those, none of the things that actually happened really hurt me, so I'm just gonna stay right here and look what happens. And if it does nothing for a while, it might be the spooky eyes, so I can just like kind of look into it, kind of. And this one might be the wings. Hey, it's the wings. Let's go. All right, this is the one I wanted. And I forgot to duplicate the thing, so I'm gonna just oil for me. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. So this is the one I want. So I will release it. Go here. Go in. Go into the uh, the research lab, and then I will. Nobody actually took it. Okay, I will put it into the data extractor. Take this and put it into the public drivers because I don't want it anymore. Boop. That one's actually different. I don't think the name's better. I think they're just. All right. So this is the one I want. All right. Yes, this is it. Okay. So this is the wings. So, I'll be like, okay, this is the one I want. And I, now I know that this is the one I don't want. So I will put it right there. And then that's it. And if you want... What you do is, like... You keep on getting more weapon drivers. And then you keep on doing the process over and over again. And then once you have a bunch of cool um cool things like cool drivers and stuff you can all take you can take all three of those drivers put them into one robot and then you have like the ultimate fighting robot so you have like a really powerful robot and that doesn't really do anything i just it just uh makes it cool i guess and you can show other people it until someone might actually press the release bot button which you, they might not do, but that's basically it for this video. Alright. Bye bye.